Guess we'll start from scratch. more friendly yeah it's fine man I kind of I got out late from work today hey drew cool that will play something different today something more more uh, upbeat and less competitive yeah job situation is I'll be just fine. I'm looking into another one right now. In fact, I have three applications sent. Um, actually, four applications to different jobs. And then I'm a. I do warehouse, man. So if I'm looking for anything, it's probably going to be warehouse type of jobs. Uh, warehouse uh, distribution and all that. Random fact, you haven't beat the first level of Banjo. Wow. Not shocking, though, because I actually have some friends that haven't made, made it past the Water Temple of Ocarina of Time. In which I kind of get it. Warehouse jobs. Yeah, uh, warehouse kind of jobs, you know, working like... Um, in the back of this like certain places delivering like this to this place and all that just pretty much distribution basically distribution to like other companies what game are you playing this on i'm playing it on the switch Yeah, every game that you're going to see is going to be on a Switch, just because I really don't want to download any um, any virtual or emulator or something like that. I really don't want to do that. Plus, it feels like it's kind of like ripping off, like, you know, game companies that do emulators and them, you know, games and then the emulators, I don't know, I feel like it's ripping it off, so I try to like support the company 100%. I always thought they sounded funny when they talk. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to play Smash Bros. anymore. Just the fact that there's a lot of people that get too upset when they lose or pick certain characters. So I think uh, now is going to be the last of Smash Bros. Until they come out with the um, Switch 2. Are you playing it on a game with all the N64s? I'm actually playing it on the Nintendo 64 um, right here. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I am playing it. Yeah. Yeah, you got it, Drew. Cool. What games am I gonna stream now? Uh, probably go back to Mario Maker 2. I can. Uh, he said press A to learn. Okay. But, uh, probably go back to Mario Maker 2, play Mario Kart 8, some other games. Yeah, I'm gonna try to avoid Smash Man because everybody gets too upset. Find another molehill and press B. Okay. Are you, bro, are you playing Banjo Kazooie? Let's go! Yeah, I thought I'll have a change of pace. Instead of playing a competitive game, I'll play something more friendly, more upbeat. Jeez, that's nothing special. I actually like the way they talk in this game. Hold R to hold a camera. Smash Bros is a talk berry, man. Uh, me and Maycard couldn't even pick like Lucas and Wario without someone like getting upset. Like it's just sad. Happy couldn't. Happy could barely even say that he doesn't have Smash without someone getting upset. I do love Smash Bros. It's just the community. It's like a lot of toxic people. Yeah, me and uh, <laughs> Maycart. Actually, I did know there's a Banjo Nuts and Bolts. I only play like 10 minutes of it and because it was a demo on the xbox actually you may carp i wasn't you i wasn't complaining about because you know you know me whether i win or lose some people kind of like take that too far when they win they kind of brag about it when uh they lose, they kind of like throw a hissy fit, so I'm like, I'm kind of really done with smashing away. People were telling others to shut up, and they're saying to leave, too. Yeah, he was saying leave, like... If that's the kind of drama that's going to be in this chat uh, because of that game, I kind of really don't want that because I want to have a safe community, honestly. Bro, I'm missing him completely. Imagine having an onion that huge. It had to be a better good one. I love the insults in this mood, in this game. All right, we're gonna. There's a huge cabbage. There's an N64 controller. It's so it's hard to tell which control it is. I'm using my Pro Control. There we are. And that one guy was saying leave. I remember that. I did not like that at all. Like when I was trying to bring people in to uh, play with us, he was saying, telling the other guy to leave. And the other guy turned out to be real cool. Like, yo, I respect him. That like, he kept it real cool on the channel. All right, can't really jump yet. Yeah, I have to start playing late at night now because my shifts. You're at Treasure Treasure Cove. Yo, that's cool, man. I'm, hopefully, I get there pretty soon. I probably won't be on that long. Play. To Bro. Okay. Give me hold Z, then press B. Bro. 
I haven't heard learned that drill thing yet. Okay. Yeah, that those two are actually banned from the channel. I think that zombie person is banned as well. Like, uh, just for saying shut up, and I'm the only one that talks in this room, so maybe he's talking to me. Uh, I did tell him hi, because I saw the name, but I didn't really pay attention to what he said. And then like, okay, hold up. This dude is banned. I guess I haven't learned to dive yet. Okay. Let's uh, go learn to swim. I wish I would have said no. I don't really like doing the trials. Alright. Was it zombie? It was zombie that said shut up, so... Yeah, it was zombie. I know this zombie was actually kind of toxic too in the other chats. Honestly, I do not. Anyone with 666 in their name, I kind of really don't trust as a person. Like, I'm not judging him for whatever he's going through, but like, hopefully he breaks out of that. Yeah, I'm gonna play banjo. Uh, what was his? What was in his name? It was a uh, zombie six six six. Hey, slime! Playing a game where you can't break any records in only in a speed run. Pretty sure you'll get the speed run in this game, like the speed run world record. Mm. Hey, Rose Walls. He got banned in some other person's channel for that name. Yo, like, okay, now I come on, fetters. You could give him a hand. Why I look silly, I know it. Okay. Cool. Hey, Rose Walls, how are you doing? He got banned for just for that name. Random fact: When I was when I make my super worlds in Mario Maker, I just make the castle levels first, even though I haven't fully done World One, Two, Three, Four, Five, Six, Seven. I have no idea why. Yeah, it was a uh, Drew Cole. I kind of actually played a uh, Mario. What the f am I stuck here? There we are. Uh, yeah, I kind of made like two extra levels, I believe. I don't really remember. Not just him, as also Elijah, that guy again. I can't remember the other person that said leave. It was someone named. Um, uh, what was his name? Uh, Python or something. Mexican Parmon or something like that. Yeah, I had him on the switch. I had to block him because he was already getting out of hand with the spamming. And then he was telling the other guy to leave because he accused him of cheating with the Fire Emblem character. I made uh, Mini Ludwig boss and the Piggy boss for some reason. Oh, Iggy. Ludwig and Iggy. It was, yeah, it was, it was him, Koopa Troopa. Uh, hey, Goombalik. Nice to see you back. Yeah, sorry for the late night stream. I kind of got out of work pretty late. So, it, it is what it is. Yeah, I'm trying to do it earlier, but it's kind of like difficult. But it's all good. There we are. I thought we'll have a change of place. Have a change of place. Play something more uplifting with the music and the characters. Set us something competitive. Alright. I, uh, I know there's more... 
few totals. Let's see how many honeycombs. We got two more honeycombs to find. I know one's in a tree somewhere. Do I really want to find it? Yeah, let's try to find it. Nope. I guess I have to find Boggles. I remember this game. Yeah, it's been a long time. I kind of uh, actually said yes to get the tutorial. I should have just like jumped ahead with everything. Yeah, I can't climb trees right now. Alright. Hey, Banjo, I hope you're not afraid of heights. I'm not... Not yet, Banjo. Jump onto a tree and then use control stick to climb up or down. Okay, simple. I always thought they talked phony in this game. Okay. Uh, you're in Spark Mountain. Yeah, I need to find a honeycomb. I know there's one in a tree somewhere. Yes, I recommend streaming some more Mario Kart 8 as well. Yeah, I'll do that. Y'all could laugh at me because I'm really bad at that game. Like, that game is so difficult. I'll probably play it sometime. I'm not too sure when. I have to try to... Like, on the weekday, I have to try to sleep earlier. Um, just so I could get up early and handle some things till I find something. Well done, guys. You're ready to tackle the witch now. We sure show us the way. Dude, I don't remember the last honeycomb. Um, I'll probably start gonna start videos late July, very early August. Yo, that's what's up. If you need a moderator, just let me know. Uh, I'll see what I could do. Dude, I can't. I really don't want to go on without the last honeycomb, but it is what it is. Remember the eggplants. Ah. Bro, I quit Mario Kart 8. Just got too boring and online. It's very hard. Yeah, I know they kind of did something in Mario Kart 8 where people are just like spamming uh, stars and bullet bills everywhere. We gotta start somewhere. Yeah, we could start somewhere. Remember that. Dude. Yeah. So the eggplant story, yeah, it was just a spammer. I honestly do not appreciate that in my chats because just the fact that there are some like young viewers, possibly, because um, I seen like a certain someone in the chat just a bit ago, and I seen the uh, like them following me on X, and they're like a young person, and I really don't want like eggplants or like that in my chat. You know. You know it's, Seems very wrong to me. Yeah, I'm like, I don't want like kids or young teens exposed to that mess because of someone being weird. To enter the world. Yeah, I like the way. If I was to make a video with uh, Banjo and Kazooie, like amiibo figures, I'll probably have them use their voices in here. That's it. The picture's complete, and the doors to Mumbo's Mountain is open. That was such an easy fit. The others may just test your wit. I always liked the dialogues and I always laughed at the way the witch rhymed with rhymed pretty much everything. There are new three new moves to learn in this world. Find them my molehills and I'll explain. 
All right. Yo, the reason why I wanted to play this game is because the music is just so like uplifting. That's what we need. This is the Nintendo 64, uh, the Switch. If you have the membership, yeah, you can play the game. There's a glitch in my egg boss where he immediately jumps at you when you spawn, making you lose power dying immediately. Yeah, I actually have like a little mess up in my uh, my Pharaoh stage that I made of uh, the thwomps. Uh, the certain last part before you make it to like the main room of all the thwomps. There's a coin that the shell misses. You have to play the stage like to know what I'm talking about, but I need to like delete the stage and go back and fix it. I mean, there's nothing inappropriate about an eggplant, it's just a vegetable, but they shouldn't spam it. I mean, yeah, the eggplant's not really inappropriate, but just what it looks like is what they're trying to do, and then putting like an arm next to it with some brain, it, you just like use the imagination, and yeah, you get it. Like, you get what they're trying to do. Just people being. People just make the weird emoji weird, yeah. People. Especially the peach emoji. So that guy that was spamming, I was actually being kind of like sarcastic with him, telling him why don't he just like throw a peach, throw some peaches in there, and yeah, it'll complete the picture. And... Chimpy hungry wants orange now. Feed Chimpy. Yeah, some people like I'm usually nice and everything, but when I start getting toxic people, I'm like I kind of get toxic back or kind of like. Uh, you know, kind of sarcastic with the spammers or the people that are kind of being like rude. If you use the emoji correctly, it's funny. Yeah, if y'all if y'all notice a change in my attitude, it's because I'm actually talking back to like some of the people in the chat. Cause honestly, I don't like when they disrespect y'all guys. Like y'all guys are like really cool. Um, I just don't like when they start running their mouth, like, cause just because certain people don't have certain games or picking certain characters, like, it's kind of where I draw the line. Why is it called an eggplant, even though it doesn't look like an egg? Try Google. Maybe Google will answer that. Hey, sounds cool. Anything else? Sure. Press the bottom C instead and. Right. She sounds painful. I wish I never asked. Bird brain could carry 100 eggs in her backpack, and then you could also use the control stick to aim while you were crouching. Egg sighting, huh? Now you learn to use the eggs. Here's 50 to practice. Nice. Like how every little item in this. Uh, I haven't learned that move yet. Yeah, I haven't learned it. Okay, I have to learn it uphill. So take care of the gorilla first. Kind of sounds like Donkey Kong. It's a good thing that. You, why is it? Yeah, it's a good thing that you take action when people are rude. Yeah, they. If they don't like our little environment, they could. I tell them they could always go to another. Wow, I messed up. They could always go to another chat. Like, it's easy as that. And they could unsubscribe too, because I don't... I don't want supporters like that. Like... Why would they put a brain beside it? I don't get that part. Mombo's Mombo Mountain is your favorite music. I actually like Treasure Trove Cove. That's probably like one of my favorite songs in this game. 
but Mobile's Mountain is actually one of my favorites too. Alright, so I think we'll go up here and we're gonna learn another move maybe. Yeah, we're gonna learn how to have Kazooie walk. Remix, Sun Remix. A lot of um, music in Smash Bros. I kind of like the originals better than remixes, honestly. I noticed that game's nothing but remixed. Alright. Bro. There we are. Why would they put a brain to sound? Get that part. Oh, now I see it. Yeah, that's so inappropriate. Yeah. I guess now you see why they use an eggplant in the chat. Yeah. They know what they're doing. Why does Banjo climb a tree even though he's a brown bear? So someone actually came up with a theory that if y'all play Donkey Kong Country 3, there are a bunch of bears in that part of the nor northern hemisphere, a hemisphere where uh, Donkey Kong and his friends are. And they said that all those bears' names start with the letter B and that they are possibly related to Banjo. So I'm like, uh, no kidding. Sounds pretty cool. I didn't know that. Be cool if it was true. Do you still have your Wii U? I actually do. I haven't been on it in such a long time. I actually downloaded more games. Uh, one of my favorite games to play that on it was the Super Mario 64 DS with uh, Yoshi, Wario, and Waluigi. Uh, Yoshi, Wario, and Luigi, my bad. It was actually a really fun game for a remix. Alright, we're gonna learn another move up here. As soon as I can find the ant hill. Here we are. Would it, it would be sick if 3DS was backwards compatible with the Nintendo Switch. Maybe, man. Yeah, a lot of my games uh, for the Wii U, they got corrupted, so I can't even play them anymore. One of my favorite uh, games on there was actually called A Cave by Double Fine. It's like a puzzle game, but it's actually pretty fun. I wish I could play it for y'all. Uh, I just need to figure out how to get from stream, uh, was it uh, Steam, to YouTube. I'm still learning YouTube, so there's a lot of things that I don't really know yet. Like in being tech savvy and need to learn. Like how to get like one thing to the other. Do not s save on pause, man. You get rid of all your stuff. Okay. We could get something. We could do like a little nostalgia stream or something. Actually, that's what this stream is. A little, little bit of nostalgia. I thought uh, I was going to play this. It was either this game, Donkey Kong Country, the original, and I think I was going to do Majora's Mask. I'm like, let's go with Banjo-Kazooie. I should have grabbed the puzzle piece in the eyeball. And I don't think I have enough mumbo, mumbo schools. Uh, yeah, I got three. Let's still have to find the other one. So, uh, let's 
use Kazooie. Okay. I see another puzzle piece. And then almost there with the collecting all the notes. I, we still need to go inside the termite, termite place. I hear Jinjo. Can you use Elgato on your Wii U? As long as you have the uh, the Wii U has the HDMI part in which it does, then you can use it indeed. Never tried it, but I'm pretty sure if it has the eight, since it has the HDMI, I wouldn't see why not. Okay, need to go back over here. Hit the witch switch. Bro. It took me entire two days to make Iggy Boss. Like, there are eight scrapped areas. I actually had to scrap some of my areas in the thwomp, my latest Thwomp one that I made. Cool concept, what I was trying to do. It was just that one little part at the end where you hit the Koopa show into the last kind of like a little tiny room and yeah it hits all the coins but i need to fix it because it sometimes it gets all the coins and then sometimes it misses that one little coin so i need to go back and fix it uh, i have a purple zombie plush from minecraft i can tell you the original ideas for his boss but it'll probably take too long <laughs> if you want man yeah, decorate your desk. Oh, my bad. That was a uh, Goombalik that said that. Uh, they have the purple zombie. Uh, it was make carp. You even collect plushes, man? Like any other plushes? I uh, need to find a. Okay. Need to find the other mumble schools. I think there's one inside. Here we are. Hey, ugly, no bears allowed in Ticker's Tower. That's discrimination. All right. He doesn't want us in here because we're ugly. All right. Yo, I like this dude right here. Me, Mumbo, best shaman in all game. Can help Banjo and Filthy Feathered One. Watch it, hot boy. Almost magic token hid by which fine tokens and mumble help you. I don't know what other accessories in my desk and need from my desk videos and switch. I mean, is your desk man? You could put whatever you want on it. Me, I like to express myself, so I have my. Nintendo Switch games and a lot of Mario and Luigi plushes and toys and uh, some Animal Crossing and then I have a banjo like a banjo kazooie plush so I like I don't know just be yourself with this it. the uh, best thing I can go with. if everybody expresses themselves with their posters or whatever they have on their desk my the other space on my desk is like arm space yeah that's what i have where my switches are is a uh, arm space i really do need to get a new chair but i have to wait till i get a job before i spend any more money on things because it's i can barely afford anything right now so and just like that we got a hundred notes I got my headphones at Canada. Yo, that's what's up. 
I actually plan on... I kind of want to go to Canada someday. I kind of want to go to Hawaii as well, and then, uh... One of my favorite countries I actually wanted to go to was actually in Switzerland, but it's like crazy expensive. And just like that, we completed this level. Got all 10 puzzle pieces and 100 notes. I want to go to Maine. Grunty's magic stops you at taking notes off the world, but the 100 you just collected counts as your best note score. Try to get 100 on each world as they are needed to open the note doors. Let's see. And Iggy is shooting you with this one entire boss fight. There is an on off switch. You have to press eight times. And if the track starts going down while you're still in the claw, it's over. Also, have you been okay? Uh, I'll talk to you in private out in for that message, Kumbalik. Switzerland woke up. I actually, I actually do love Switzerland. Like it's probably one of the most beautiful countries in the world. Like my opinion, um, uh, you know, everybody has their opinion what their favorite is. To me, it's Switzerland. Um. It took me 11 attempts to fall, not fall off Trikov, Goombalik, all good. Yeah, it's all good, man. Uh, I'll tell, tell you in private in, about that one. Uh, Switzerland is great. Wish I could go there. It's crazy expensive. I think uh, one place that I would like to go is uh, Fogolio or something like that. I don't even know how to spell it, but I think it's uh, something like that. I think it's called Fogolio. Probably like, like a little village, but man, it looks so awesome. I want to go to Paris this summer. I won't see why not. Actually, like in my bathroom, I have like a big picture the eiffel tower like yeah decorate uh my bathroom because i have no shower in there uh it's just a toilet and a sink all right we're gonna use these all my cousins aunties and grandma is there so lucky I haven't visited since 2017. I haven't left Texas at all my whole life. I left Fort Worth like uh, a few times to like visit other cities and towns in Texas, but I never left Texas at all. I, I've been on one big trip but stayed in Australia. That sounds fun, man. I would like to go to Australia and get into a fight with the kangaroo or something. I heard them, uh, kangaroo, like they be, uh, they found that one guy's house. I know it's probably a different guy. You, I actually done that, but you actually fought a kangaroo. <laughs> what was that like? They are jacked. Have you seen a spooky spider? <laughs> Not a real fight. Remember the dude spamming the test tube? Yeah, that dude. Did he even get banned? I don't even remember him. Oh, yeah. He, uh... I think he's kept spamming. I'm not sure if I banned him or not, but that's when Homeboy... Uh, he said that... He got respect for that dude for spamming. Like, well, good. You could uh, go ahead and leave to another chat with him if you want. You know what? I think that 
No, that test tube guy, he actually came back and said he is sorry. So I'm like, okay, uh, sounds good enough, man. I give him that he redeemed he he redeemed himself. This is what basically caused my my thalassophobia because of this shark. Look at that. <laughs> That's why I don't go in, go in no water because of this guy right here. <laughs> Look, dude, Ugh, I might have trouble going in the sh taking a swim now. Dude, I hate crabs as well. Man, I hate. I honestly do not like any creature that comes from the ocean or the sea or the beach. When you were going out of bound, the shark comes and eats you. Really? Uh, hint for one slash my boss, Goombrat Crow, one of the Koopling Scotch, man. I'll keep an eye out for that. It's a. Uh, what it what's my biggest fear dude so i hate sea creatures man with the passion uh sharks will be up there i do not like jellyfish i do not like uh, giant squids bro if i see a picture i will be creeped out i do not like whales either like anything that belongs in the ocean that's huge i do not like i will not if I see one, I'm not gonna be able to take a shower, bro. Cause I'm my, I'll get so paranoid, I won't be able to concentrate. Uh, my imagination is just gonna be strong. I'm gonna be thinking about them, and my since my imagination of them is so strong, I'm actually re really, really uh, see them while I'm showering, and it freaks me. To, freaks me out to a point where I have to like make it quick or something, cause I cannot. Uh, I get freaked out big time. I was at the beach once under a rock. I lifted and a giant crab was there. It started chasing me. Same. Low, and then there's one dude spamming toilets. A shark is based off the tiger shark. The shark, is, yeah, it is based off the tiger shark. Wait, Drew, cool. You're, you're scared of uh, huge animals or something? Yeah, usually with spammers, man, I give them a chance because at least they come back and say they're sorry for spamming. So I kind of give them a chance, but the ones that are like completely rude and say shut up for no reason, I'm like, yep, you're out. Now I'm scared of. Now I used to be scared, being scared of being alone. Now I'm scared of a bunch of stuff. Yeah, man, you're no matter what, you're never alone. If you need to talk, you know you know how to find me on like Twitter. What? Oh wait, never mind. It was lag. Like the life froze for like ten seconds. Yeah, separation anxiety. I know some animals actually have it, separation anxiety too, like dogs and uh, rabbits. If you have a pet rabbit, they do not like to be by themselves. <laughs> this hippo, bro. My dog has separation anxiety. So two of my dogs didn't really have it. Like, uh, they're actually like pretty chill. I like the way this hippo talks. <laughs> so One time I was real young, out of nightmare, and thought the enemy, an enemy, and nightmare was gonna come after me. I hid in the doghouse. <laughs> Yo, I ain't gonna make fun of you, Dev, because um, I saw Jeepers Creepers, and when I was like young, and I couldn't even sleep because of that movie. Like I like sleep paralysis, like uh, the part where. Uh, they checked out the well, and there, there was a body in there, so I had a sleep paralysis that the body was, like, actually hanging on my door. 
Did you know treasure? The treasure is tricking you. One of my birds lost the best friend, Jamil. It was depressed for a while. That actually happens. Sometimes I hear my cats making noises. It sounded like the person in my house a couple of days ago. I literally heard my back doorknob make a noise. Have I seen a have I seen a body before? Uh luckily no. Luckily I never seen one. I've seen people uncautious before on the, the side of the road and honestly I don't like seeing that stuff, man. Sorry I wasn't really listening. <laughs> oh crap, I went in the hole again. I actually had some paranormal experiences, but I know uh, it's a kind of a tough subject um, for certain people. Like, there are some people who do not believe in the paranormal. Uh, I will be scared if I saw a body on the side of the road. Yeah, it's... Luckily, I, was, I didn't see anybody pass away. Luckily, i just seen people uncautious before. Hopefully, they were unconscious. Like, yeah. And like a couple months ago, in the middle of the night, my TV random turned on and played a night background that kind of looked like it was from 2007. Yo, so, back, back in maybe like a couple of years ago, uh, y'all probably won't believe me. Uh, that's up to y'all. I'm not gonna lie about this, but I, um, I actually used to see like aliens from another dimension. They're not from outer space, but from another dimension, dude. And yeah, there's one that looked like a chupacabra. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, if y'all know what a chupacabra is, uh, the way it walked on its hind legs, and I seen it like at my job too and a dude was like trying every time i saw it kind of run away like a little coward and uh my coworkers they're kind of like tripping out too and then we used to hear like some loud bangs and we didn't know where it came from it because it would only be like two or three of us there's one old lady chanting in a yeah it was a lady chanting in another language she was actually, honestly, she looked pretty young, dude. Uh, but she, her skin was like blue. Oh, sh I missed the Jinjo. So back in my twenties, I kind of wanted to try like new age stuff. It was a big mistake. And yeah, this uh, I saw this like blue chick. Like she literally was blue. She had like clothes that kind of looked like a mage or something, man. And uh, she, like, uh, started, like, chanting, and I didn't even know what she was saying. And she, like, touched my forehead. When, and, and I felt that when I woke up. It was like sleep paralysis, man, because uh, they hit you in sleep paralysis because they're too much power to, like, show themselves. So, a lot of crazy stuff. I would, I would suggest, like, do not do, try any new age kind of crap, man. I know <laughs> this is a weird random topic. Uh, I hate sea creatures. And personally, I, I really do hate sea creatures. They freak me the heck out, dude. I hate uh, yellow jackets as well. I really hate yellow jackets and I hate roaches. You don't like wet things touching you. I hate roaches, bro. Uh, back in my bathroom, I had a... My restroom, I actually had a shower. But I had some roaches that came from the drain. And there are some big, big ones too, and they'll be like crawling on my feet. So I was so uncomfortable trying to use my own restroom. And then uh, took the shower out, so and patched up the hole in the wall. So they haven't been back. Like thank goodness, I haven't had no roaches at all in my room. 
Dude, I hate roaches so damn much. All right, Banjo Kazooie. I hate yellow jackets, man. Uh, they're nasty buggers, dude. They they just hit you for no reason. I know we used to have uh back during the pandemic. There was like this big talk of the murder hornets, and I thought it was probably like the funniest thing ever. Ever since you've been a neat freak. Uh, let's see. After I start, okay, two O's. Let's see. Made it. Except the tracks. Scrap that idea for the world one level three boss. It was supposed to be boom boom. And it was the ghost house theme. It was basically the same boom boom boss. New Super Mario Bros. Boom boom boss. Except the tracks made it look nice, man. Once my dad once asked me to take a cricket outside. Crickets aren't too bad for me. Yeah, they don't really bother me because uh I don't know, man. There's some certain bugs that do not bother me, and there's just like some that kind of like creep up on you, like roaches, man. They just like come out of nowhere. Actually, yeah, uh, I really had a flying roach. Actually, the ones at my place, uh, they actually were not shy. They would like crawl on you. There are four spiders on my roof right now. Yeah, I killed them, man. Burn, burn the house. Been four spiders on my roof, been there for months. They just don't move. We'll have to go now. It's late for me. Later, Koopa Trooper Place. Have a good one. Thank you for tuning in. Always uh, appreciate you being on, being with us. I haven't seen Happy. Bye, Drew. Have a nice. Follow the clues if you're looking for gold. Gotcha. Uh, let's yeah, let's just look for the gold. I can always come back to this part. There are things called daddy long legs. We have those in in America as well. And they catch flies and stuff and slowly kill them with the little venom they have. It's a weird name. Yeah, uh, we we have them in Texas. I'm pretty sure they're everywhere like in the united states as well i know y'all over there in australia i think y'all have the blue ring octopus maybe i'm not too sure yeah our daddy long legs don't bite I think the most venomous creature uh, that y'all have over there is the box jellyfish. I'm, if I'm mistaken, I could. I messed up. All right. Yeah, I think it's the box jellyfish, if I'm not mistaken. Box jellyfish. Venom could kill 30 adults. Oh crap, this dude snuck up on me. Well, I walked right into him. I was <laughs> looking at the comments. Uh, there are so many spiders in Australia. I've seen bigger and more in America. Yeah. Yeah, there's a, another one nearby. They're trying to hide it. I know it's right there. 
Ah, oh, dude, I fell. All right, let's. Hey, oh, yeah, let's go. Oh, great, that shark, man. It's freaking shark. A freaking song too. Did you know that there is a Peppa Pig episode that got banned on Australia be because spiders are not friendly? Let's wait for him right here. What's scary is 5% of the ocean hasn't been only 5%. Oh, only 5% of the ocean has been discovered. Yo, look up uh, Mariana's Trench. That's like the suppose deep part of the deepest part of the ocean. We have discovered more than five percent. I think, yeah, I think we it's like six percent now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm really not sure. Dude, if we only discover like five percent, man, imagine how scarier like the monster, like the sea creatures will be. Probably higher than six percent. You're right. Probably like seven percent. Dude. Just imagine what giant creatures down there are. Man, I get kind of chills thinking about that, but it kind of interests me in a way. Like, honestly, I probably won't be able to take a shower. Interesting topic, but it's kind of like freaky. There could be much creature, there could be creatures that look like us, but so much. So there is this one, supposedly, I'm not sure if it comes from a creepy pasta, but it's called a nin ninja, I think it's Japanese or something. Uh, I'll type it in the chat. Yeah, uh, look up that, and you'll see what I'm talking about. It's called a ninja, and that thing is huge. It looks like a human, but I'm pretty sure it's not real. If you want to test your fear of the ocean, go play Subnautica. If I had the cash, I would download it and play it. And then y'all, I know y'all won't get a reaction of me, but y'all probably hear me screaming. <laughs> Goombalic. I, I don't think that's a real creature, honestly, Goombalic. I don't think it's real. Could be, it'll be, it'll be yeah, pretty cool if it was. But yeah, I think it's made up like one of those internet kind of things, kind of like Slenderman and The Rake and Jeff the Killer. No, I should... There's like pictures of ghosts in a very old 19 or something in the 19 or something but how to recreate this is just don't clean the lens true all right see see what else we have scott all right it was invented by japanese people on the internet yeah i knew that it, it looks so convincing but yeah it's fake all right we're gonna Gather what we can down here, um, where these rocks pillars are sticking up. Yeah, I figure some Fortran people create mess like that. I do not go on Fortran. Like I don't, I don't trust trust the website. Do you have Mario Odyssey? I actually do. The just the thing about that is that I like to play with the Pro Control instead of the Joy-Cons, but I could still play it sometime. If there was a time before glasses, 
what does that all mean the urban legend is this there are actually some urban legends that i i fell uh there are actually some urban legends that i do enjoy like uh the poison house or the venomous house there's a group of people take the first floor is nothing but like venomous animals they make it to the second floor i forgot what the second floor was i think murderers or something so yeah i do like a lot of urban legends and uh i do get in, invested into creepy pastas as well the graphics were perfect wasn't really too realistic or bulky i don't believe in them but i find greek mythology interesting I used to study Greek mythology, like, I used to think it was interesting too, um, a lot of things I did not know, uh, but then I kind of like stopped uh, looking into it, uh, just because it's like a whole other thing than what I should be reading. Uh, I'm not going to bash anybody who does, because, you know, I, I used to read it, because I found it interesting. Today, ah, I messed up. Oh, great! The shark. Oh, <laughs> this dude's freaking me out. I, <laughs> I don't want to go in there. All right, uh, he's right there. Stop. <laughs> okay. Did you know that the Nintendo Switch can actually switch? Did you know that Zeus and married his sister? I forgot her name. I think it was Hera. It was Poptronica, Jeff Kenny's everyone's favorite book writer. I'm not sure if I have a... I used to be, like, interested in Percy Jackson. Like, I actually seen both movies. I actually do have the second book. Do y'all know Timmy Failure? The book. I never heard of uh, Timmy Failure. I'll probably look into it if y'all want. All right, let's try that again. Okay, right here, got it. Timmy got a U in my class. That gold treasure was for me. Now harder, still the game will be. I always liked the witch's dialogue just cause she rhymed everything. Timmy got a you, you and my. Yo. Y'all want to see me see play Subnautica one day? I know I don't show my face, but y'all probably will hear me freaking out. That's like a person who suffers suffers from the loss of phobia is like worst fear ever. <laughs> if more people knew about you, you best be. Uh, I appreciate that. I know I got a long ways to go, honestly, but my goal is just to get um, get monetized someday. I know my one of my Marvel videos is kind of like 500 views. If I was to get a thousand, I would actually be getting paid for it if I was monetized. So yeah. Go is yeah, try to get get subscribers. 
I missed a spot down there. Waluigi looking at Smash Bros. Why was not I? <laughs> he was actually in Smash Bros. He's a trophy, not an actual fighter. <laughs> so the joke about Waluigi, he's like this artist or something. He's kind of like bitter about not being a, actually a fighter in Smash. He's a trophy. He wasn't, you know, he's not in the main games or anything. Just... So, yeah, he's kind of like one of those characters that are just bitter. I think uh, making Luigi like the responsible one and Mario kind of like the lazy one. I actually uh, plan on like bringing more characters in like Ganondorf. Have some sort of like super villain kind of thing going on. Why? Oh, I felt that pain right there. All right. Think I got all we needed. Let's uh, get the honeycomb because I might die. Yo, I kind of like how they fixed up the Banjo Kazooie on the Switch because uh, back on the 64, if you if you died you have to like start over with collecting like all the notes and gingos and everything so now they kind of like i think they changed it to where if, even if you do lose you could still like have everything just have 15 but i know where they're at oh boy this guy right here there he is i have a prana plant lamp I actually seen a Lego uh, Prana plant uh, somewhere. I wanted to get it, but I just can't afford it right now. Not until I get the get the other job, which probably I'm waiting on the calls. So maybe it'll be Monday. Did you know that Prana plant beat Waluigi being added as? <laughs> You just gave me another idea. All right. Yo, that's a spit in the face to Waluigi. No, not this guy. I hate this dude so much. Stop. Oh my gosh. Dude, I hate sharks. Is there a, like, I'm not trying to, like, be that person, but is there a whale in Subnautica? Because I do not like whales. Did you know the shark in Kirby? His name is Joe. Nice. I didn't know that. Dude, I can't find these last notes. I think I've been everywhere. All right, we're just gonna take the the feather pad. There they are. Yeah, think about this game. I actually want to like get everything. Now we just need nine more. All right. Hey, hey, happy. I thought we'll have a change of place, change of pace, and play something more like uplifting, more upbeat music, less competitive. My birthday is in 13 weeks. Mine is in however long September is. Oh boy. Horror games be like, hey guys, let's go out night at 1 a.m. Hopefully I will not die. Happy birthday. Mine's was 19 days ago. September what day? The 16th. 
otherwise known as Mexican Independence Day. What is the most forgettable month? Yeah, for some reason, uh, Mexican Independence Day, man, it's, uh, I guess, the uh, president or something. It's something about someone's head getting cut off or something. Yeah, I don't know. That's what September 16th is known for. March. March. I have a... Your birthday is... Yep, my birthday's on Mexican Independence Day. I'm actually thinking of making two Ludwig bosses in different worlds. I actually have a level that I'm kind of working on where you face some enemies and then you have to face like a, one of the Koopa kids, like a general. It's going to be like an aerial showdown. So, I'm trying to find these uh, notes. I can't even find them, dude. Anyways, I completed the level, so I'm going to probably opt out of it. Uh, is May, spring, or summer? I think summer. I don't know, dude. I'm dreading summer. It's like hot over here in Texas, and it's like not even May yet. In June and July is when you go outside and you just feel that sun like really hitting you. Ice Dragon's Domain. I still haven't been this game yet. It's a fun game. I beat it like a few times. I, I think I finished the world. I know I got like a few notes, dude. I think this is the end of the notes. Yep. There we are. We got all the notes here. Ice, how you doing, Ice Dragon? That means we have four months of summer. Dude, I hate summer in Texas, man. It, it is so hot. Let's see if we, I think we got everything. We got... Still need to find the honey cones. We got everything, though. Except for the honey cones. I also hate Florida in summer. Where are the honeycombs? I don't remember. I think uh, one of the honeycombs is actually over there. Uh, dude, that means I have to deal with the shark. Uh, boy, I'm not looking forward to this. Anyone new to the channel? I hate sh I hate sea creatures with a passion. Sharks is one of them. Try flying over there. Florida summer is Ness was better. I'm gonna fly over there actually. Uh, as soon as I can find a fetter thing, I think it's on the pirate. No, there's one right there. Yeah, I remember the one of the honeycombs is probably over here. Let's see. Nope. It's not over here. I can't even go past that. But I think that I know where there's one actually hidden behind that big pillar over there. I always wanted to go to Florida. Try flying over there. I always wanted to go to Florida. I actually want to go to Disneyland someday. I know it's kind of overrated, but I don't know. i never been outside of Texas in my life. There it is. i never been outside of Texas. So hopefully someday I want to... Uh, great, this guy. No, <laughs> I hate sharks. <laughs> they freak me the heck out, dude. Yo. I'm planning on making World 4 an ice cave world. Kind of based on the ice cap zone, mystic cave zone from Sonic. Yo, uh, I haven't played Sonic in a while. All right, I think there's actually going to be one hidden behind one of these pillars, if I'm not mistaken. I honestly do not remember. If not, I could just come back for it. Mario Maker 2. 
Sonic 3, Sonic 2, and Sonic. I'm look actually looking forward to the the Knuckles uh, show. I'm honestly am for some reason. Dude, I know the other Oh boy, this guy again. Yeah, it's not here. Uh, <laughs> this dude, I hate this guy. There it is. This freaking shark creased me the hell out, dude. There we are. Got everything we needed from here. We could go uh, great, dude. What's the most forgotten Mario game? Mario is missing. Maybe. Or Super Mario Run. Oh, you know what? It was. There was actually a. Did you start over? I actually did start over. Uh, Mario missing. There was actually another educational Mario game too. This mother. Granty's legs and stomach thins. Get by to all those double chins, yo. I like the way she rhymes everything in this game. Alright. Super Mario 3D Man, Nintendo wants nothing to do with it. Is it because of uh level I think level four or something, the ghost level, and that there's a ghost um uh, apparition in there. I think there was a UF I don't know why I went back into the world, but yeah, there was a UFO in that game and then um uh, like when you look through the telescope and then there was actually like a ghost apparition also in one of the ghost worlds if uh ghost levels like you can actually like look it up on YouTube Super 3D Land was my first Mario game. Really? That was the one for the 3DS. What do I look up? Uh, Super Mario 3D Land uh, Ghost, if I'm not mistaken. It's going to be uh, a ghost in the one of the ghost levels it, like it doesn't look like a boo it's like legit like a ghost face i forgot where to go for this puzzle bro i walked into him so it's my fault i have a 3ds uh world 4 level 4 that's the one yeah that Yo, uh, what's the other one? Uh, from Mario, Mario Galaxy Two, um, Hell Valley, I think they call it. Like, look up Hell Valley. You can see like those three, like, alien ghost creatures, whatever. Like, just wherever you go in one of the levels, it's like look, they're looking down at you. In Japan, four is a lucky number. The symbol kind means death. Yeah, hi, that's so true. All right, uh, it's been so long, I forgot where to go, honestly. All right. Yeah, Goombalik. Yeah, the UFO is pretty freaky, but yeah, World 4, Level 4, and 3D Land was uh, kind of trippy too because it just does not belong in a Mario game. Ice Dragon, it appears, it appears, screams, and disappears. Really? I need to hear that. Well, this dude. I kind of wonder why 13 is unlucky number in our country. Someone said that there, there's like no 13th floor on a in a hotel. I honestly been a lot of been a lot of hotels in my life and I kind of really never noticed that all. Yeah. 
Yeah, 13 is a lucky number in our... Yeah, I've been in, been in a lot of hotels, man, so I've really never noticed. I know there's a... This... Hello there, young ones. I'm Brantilda, Gruntilda's nicer sister. Crept down here to, to help you defeat the old hag. It's about time she was taught a lesson. I know what all of Grunty's disgusting secrets, and I'll tell you you three every time you find me. Remember them well, young ones, as they will help you avoid a fiery fate. Press B if you like to hear them. Um, I wonder so that's the forest puzzle, yeah. I know there's a mumble thing. I'm not. I don't have the puzzle thing here. Back then, I used to laugh, laugh at the good fairies, like, um, like she told stories of Grunty. But then I realized later on they're kind of like hints to help you, like near the end of the game. That's when I was little. She brushes her teeth with moldy cheese, dude. Yo, thinking about that's kind of gross. All right. I forgot where to go. It's been so long. Let's uh, go up here. Well, you know what? I think I was supposed to do something in the main room. Like the... Yeah, I'm supposed to do something in the main room over here. It's been so long. I... Right? There we are. We found the right one. Dude, I know if I press Z, I could get them all at the same time. If you want to place all your pieces into the picture, just press Z. Goombalic, look up... Uh, was it a uh, shiver... Uh, Shiver something, but also in Japan, uh, the Mario Galaxy 2, I think it's known as Hell Valley, if you want to look that up, if you want to get tripped out. Also look into uh, that other one, um, Mar was it Mario 64, was actually uh, a personalized copy. Just thinking about it, it's kind of creepy. This is the Pirates. Dude, okay. Let me uh, focus, because I'm not really focusing. Uh, dude. Okay, I'm supposed to go up here. Okay, I'm, I can focus now. Z-L-Y. Kazooie, if you... Yeah, if you let go of Y, nothing happens. All right, let's go over here. And then let's open this. And I guess we could get that later. Just one new move to find this time, but it's hidden well. I actually thought this game was so good back in the day when I first played it. I wonder who put the ghost in the scripts. Not a clue. I thought Nintendo was so weird for that. It's flipping Nintendo. Why is someone got a hold of it and putting us a secret? Actually, uh... There, the Nintendo dumb things like that, like if you look up uh, Majora's Mask, like the ghost slash alien part, it's actually that creature resembles the Flatwoods monster. 
like look up the flat woods monster and look up like Madras Mask, the alien ghost part, and you'll see like a resemblance. I'm trying to gather all the feathers, and then we're gonna go into the main part. Yeah, I kind of big like on cryptozoology. Like, I, I like to study like cryptozoology. Uh, not really so much Bigfoot because everybody talks about Bigfoot, but going into like other ones. If I was to start a second channel, it'd probably be about cryptozoology. I don't even know what you said, man. Translate it yourself. Ah, that's what you typed. Oh, great, this dude. At least he's not trying to kill me like the shark. Clinker, not like dirty water. Yeah, I give him a pass, man. He's not trying to kill us. Still creepy and huge. All right. It's a. Uh, I really hate death. It's a tiger shark, but on steroids. I really hate death. But ten times more friendly. Is that what it says? Correct. Death is actually scary, man. Like, I hate to dwell into that topic, but I used to have, like, some horrible friends uh, back in my old job, and they used to show me, like, uh, videos of bad things, and yeah, I'm like, dude, what's wrong with you? You probably have no sanity. <laughs> Y'all know what kind of videos I'm talking about. It's a kind of a disturbing topic. Uh. Yep, that. Like, my, I had some friends I used to watch that and watch it like nothing. Yeah, I'm like, dude, I don't know how they had the stomach to watch stuff like that. So, yeah, they'll be like posting videos and sharing it. I'm like, I don't even know why y'all watch that stuff, man. That's a strong stomach right there. So I can't watch videos like that. Yo, they used to like try to get me to watch them. And I'm like, and I'm like, yo, uh, this is real, ain't it? And they kind of like be laughing with shaking their head. <laughs> Probably change the subject though, if y'all want. Uh, go back to more creepy Nintendo stuff. Ohio, Ohio, Ohio translates. So I know I'm supposed to go down into that hole and free the whale. I believe it's a whale. I only watch G or PG. Correct. Dude, I hate whales. They're freaking huge. Like the, I think the biggest whale in the world is the blue whale. When I watch scary or disturbing movies, I watch funny stuff. Actually, I could watch uh, videos. Like, I do watch some videos right now. That, this dude took a bite out of me. Like, some videos, like, I could watch scary stuff, but I, 
at a certain point I have to stop because it kind of like messes with your psyche and I feel like they kind of know when you're watching and getting kind of like freaked out. All right, let's uh, go down here. A blue whale can open its mouth, mouth as wide as some fruits. So I forgot the name. I watch all dramas. PG, G, P, G, M, A, and R. I could watch some. Uh, there are some that are awkward to watch around, like the parents or your grandparents. Like, I don't know if my bro could watch those kind of movies. Like, uh, he has no problem watching the 40 year old virgin in front of my dad. <laughs> like, yeah, kind of like those teen party movies, like that were so popular in like the 90s or 2000s. I'm like, yeah, I don't know how you could watch those kind of movies on front of the folks because it's kind of awkward. Gonna collect all the notes done here. I thought it was G, PG, PG 13, R. Running out of air. Right, let's find our little fish friend. There we are. Sorry to say that. You're good. No need to apologize, brother. Yeah, this game is actually putting me at ease. I won't be saying that later on when I make it to like that uh that oil stage. This game is great. It is. I love these kind of games. Well, those are all those are movie genres. I have no idea what they means. There we are. The ports level, yes. The water is dangerous. Yeah, that level was. So if I don't think uh, so on the sixty four, if you lost, you have to start over collecting all the notes and uh, gingos. But on this one, I think if you lose. Uh, You'll still have everything. It was like that on the Xbox 360 as well. I like the game. I don't like the puzzle. I don't like puzzle games. I kind of like some puzzle games. Kind of mix, you know, to get you kind of thinking. Okay. Uh, do you use GR and stuff in America? We actually use uh, rated G and rated R in America, and thanks to games like Mortal Kombat, we actually have like a rating system for video games now. Dude, back in the day, everybody hated like uh, the news hated Mortal Kombat. I kind of like to use play that game, but I kind of like hate it now. I like puzzle games like Granny and stuff. Never. Yo. Okay. I think there are Easter eggs in this game. They are. Okay, I fell in the whale. And that's where I need the Wonder Wing. Granny is horrifying and for your first try. I never played it. I'll probably have to look at it. Yeah, I need to learn. Wonder Wing, I don't. Right? Can I make that? Kind of nervous. Oh boy. Bro. Okay. Did you call that a whale? I think it's a whale, man. Is it a shark? I thought they called it a whale. Try Wik Wik Wikipedia or Wikia, see what it is. Because I think it, they said it's a whale. Don't ask why the question mark is there. It's 
Someone said it was a whale. I don't know, man. I just go with whatever I read. Gotta start with the green one. All right, start the mini game. Oh boy, I messed up already. All right, where's the other one up here? Bro. Ah, you son of a... Bro, I have an auto luck. I swear I do worse when I'm live streaming. I don't like the way that thing waves. Right. Bro. There's no way I'm gonna... I have to start over. Alright. Did you know that if you pour water on a rock, nothing happens? I did not know that. It's a mechanical shark. Who will win? Banjo Kazooie or Ness? Mechanical shark. Gotcha, man. I think it was a g garbage disposer, if I'm not mistaken. Garbage disposal. Alright, we're supposed to go up here. There we are. Got our little tentacle monster right there. Who uh, will win? The shark has gone Super Saiyan. Dude, am I missing something? Alright, let me uh, focus on the game. Nine seconds. I already messed up. I'm trying to read the comments. Let me. Alright, I'm gonna have to focus. Alright. Yo, back when I, like, I ain't gonna lie, when I'm back when I first started live streaming, I started with Mario Kart, and I really had no viewers at all, except for this one girl, and then when she had to go, she said, okay, good luck with your stream, talking to yourself, like, because there's nobody else, and I'm like, so, like, it was pretty funny to think about that, yeah, I had no viewers to talk to, and I'm like, wow. Bro, Mr. Hula Hoop in front of him. There we go. I concentrated, that's why. Instead of reading comments. All right. Who will win, Banjo, Kazooie, or Ness? I don't know. I play Banjo and Banjo and Kazooie. I used to get freaked out about uh, what's his name, Gigas. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, the final boss of Mudder. I'm not sure if y'all may have played it to the end of Earthbound. I'm not going to lie because I never made it past the beginning. Just because I found it kind of a weird RPG. So I never really made it past the first like five, ten minutes. But yeah, Gigas is weird just because he looks like a like an infant in the womb or a unborn child. got other rooms to go to. I think I'm supposed to shoot out his teeth as well. And then he uh, gives us a puzzle piece. There we are. 
too fake, this side gone. Clanker, swallowed, reward. I think, yeah, he has a two fake right here. The dude has a gold teeth. There we are. Ah, uh, whatever he said. Right. It's on the other side. PK, PK fire. Yo, dude, I hate crabs too. I don't know why they, they just seem kind of creepy. You know what? There's actually something going on the internet that it was coconut crabs that ate Amelia Earhart. I'm pretty sure y'all know about her and learning in school. Because every grade talked about her. Who's the first person that comes to mind when I say the letter S? I don't like final. I don't like. I never played a game, but the first thing that came to mind when, with the letter S was Sephiroth. For some reason, it just popped up. Sephiroth popped up. Sonic. All right. I guess we could go up top now and a worse risk Pratt is like in every movie now. I feel the same way about uh, what's her face, uh, Jana Ortega. I think people should stop hating on Chris Pratt. I agree. First, they didn't like him as the voice of Mario, but I kind of found it fitting. Yeah, it's a Janet Ortega for me, honestly, my opinion. And uh, Zendaya. We have Chris Pratt in the Mario movie and the Garfield movie. I'm actually looking forward to Garfield. Luigi was so good for the voice Mario. I agree. I never really watched uh, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. I think that's where he came from. But yeah, he did a real good job. Never really seen uh, Key and Peel, honestly. So, like, I know uh, it was uh, Jordan. I'm not. I'm not. I don't even know their names, but one of them played Toad. Thought he kind of did did a good job too. Uh, I think I made it. I went through here before. I think I made it. Yep. Okay. Oh boy, I have to swim back. I didn't. I didn't really like Cranky Kong's voice actor. I just didn't think it fit. Him. Cranky is supposed to be cranky and pretty much saying how he's better at everybody at this and that I don't even know what May Carp said someone wants to translate I think Diddy Kong should have more screen time <laughs> that means you Diddy Kong They're mutants. Got one more mutant. Whenever I hear the word mutant, it's always X Men that comes into mind. Search Mario and Google, and there'll be a question block. But if you press, it makes coin sounds. 
whatever you do, do not type gaggle or spell Google wrong, because then, yeah, you'll be taken to, a, I think, a malicious website. Okay, I'm supposed to go on the pipe. Bro. There we are. If you search up Donald Snap, something great happens. I kind of like how nobody knew who Donald's was at all. Except for the OG people that are kind of like no like comic books for um back in the day, but then they kind of like got to know him in Marvel vs. Capcom 2, and then I guess they got it. Some people who were into the MCU barely learning about who Donald's is when the movie came out. Like, <laughs> like I'm not gonna bash on anybody. If y'all like MCU, that's cool. You know, me personally, I'm not really not my kind of thing. Did Charles Martinet retire? He's the ambassador for Mario. He still kind of does the voices, though. There we are. We need one more Jinjo. Yeah, he's the ambassador for Mario. I thought that was pretty cool. Nintendo still have him something to do. I do not think I went in here. We're about to go. I think that might be no. The entrance is the other way. Let's see. Okay, we could use that. The new voice actors, the Mario Warner. I feel like nothing has changed. I feel that they didn't really. They actually kind of did a good job. Like I really had no complaints whatsoever. You can actually tell the difference though. I think this might be the entrance back. Okay, we're just gonna go turn back around. I'm uploading one, two, and five minutes. Yeah, I'll probably play it sometime. I know there's a honeycomb in here. There we are. At least they didn't choose me. I would have been terrible. Much better than my Mario impressions, man. I know, like, there's some YouTubers like Super Mario Logan where this dude, he just, like, uses his uh, original voice to do, like, the Mario, Mario voice. The reason why I kind of want to like uh, stay respectful, like like keep keep the cartoon or the little toy thing life friendly, is because I don't want to get sued either by Nintendo for mis mis uh, misrepresenting their franchise. So I try to like keep it clean. I think someone said yeah they got sued because of all the cursing and stuff. There we are. I'm not too keen on the Mario Wonder game. I don't like the design of the characters. I don't really like the flower cheering me, but it's okay if you guys like it. So if I had more people to play with, that would have been fine. I only played it with Happy. I played it with a friend of mine, and I played it with my younger brother, Jason. There we are. There's the other honeycomb. Alright. Still missing something. I think we're... Still missing more. I think they're inside the web. Shark. A metal shark. Today, guys, we're gonna learn... Let's trap in our seatbelts. And today, we're gonna be learning about why a nuclear bomb will destroy an entire city. 
That's bound to happen. Okay, I'm supposed to go inside, jump on top of that screw. Do you use a wired control? I actually do. It's gonna be it's the Luigi Luigi one that I have in my uh desk setup. That's the control I play with. I actually have another star one just in case that this one messes up. Oh boy, almost fell. Okay. Dude, I wouldn't be surprised if we're doomed with the that thing going on that what Maycarp said. Okay. I think I went that way, so the last of it is gonna be inside the this gentleman. I don't know why I'm so used to calling him a shark. I mean, a whale. He's a shark. Did you know that Italian or German are the hardest language to translate? Yo, I heard when you know like Italian or French, that's when you get all the women. They like that roll of the tongue for some reason. I'm supposed to make that that little fly pad appear. I just forgot how it's been so long since I played this game. I'm doing a clear check now. There we are. There's the pad. Okay, I think we're we could go up here. And we learned a wonder wing, I believe. Yep. And there's the last last of the notes. This move uses Biko's wings as a shield against the bad guys. Cool, does it make me invulnerable? Sure does. Hold Z and press the right C button. Keep the Z held and use the control. So the pro controls, like if you're playing Ocarina of Time or one of the Zelda games, it's actually going to be really, like the C button kind of messes me up when you're like switching around items. If you want to find 2D characters on a 3D background, go watch Amazing World of Gumball. Uncle Grandpa, or was it Uncle Grandpa? That show was weird. Dude, I'm missing two notes. I am missing two notes. I'm not even sure where they're at. Bro is invincible. For y'all wondering, this is where the move in Smash Bros. came from. Since y'all always throwing fun facts out there, I thought I'd throw one. All right, so I'm not sure what the uh, other notes are. I already looked. The Gosh, that thing freaks me out. Did you know in Banjo Kazooie the 
There's an actual villain that steals your sister. This is confusing. I actually just have two notes to find. And that's it for this level. I'm not sure where the other notes are at. I think I got them all in the well. Shark. He's a shark. So I used to call him a whale. Um, imagine a whale that a uh, shark that huge. I think the megalodon. Yeah, I'm not sure where the last of the notes are. I have a feeling that they're in these little pipes down here. The Megalodon is extinct. Good riddance. Nope. According to the Meg, it's not. Have y'all seen the Meg? Dude, everybody was making fun of me when us when we saw that movie. Uh, are you scared of a shark? Have you seen how I think a swallow like swallow you up like nothing? The megalodon was extinct a hundred million years ago. He's probably asleep somewhere, like hibernating, waiting for his time to come, like thaw out. If I can't find the notes in like two minutes, I'm up. Exit, exit out the stage. Nope, the Megalodon is stinked. Thank goodness. Where did that mean come from? I always see y'all posting like 9 plus 10 equals 21. I want to know the origin. You got a prize, you're you got nothing. Better than a coupon man. If y'all saw Invader Zim, I think he won that contest and he I'm not sure if he won a coupon or he won a like a a can of tuna. <laughs> like what a prize. It's a meme from like twelve years ago. All right, I can't find the notes, so we're just gonna end uh, end it right here. I should really go the other way. All right. Nope. I forgot what world is next. I think it's the swamp. But um, I'm gonna end it right here, though. It's, I gotta get up and do some things in the morning. Did you know in Ban Banjo Kazi you have health? Must be a wish.com of Banjo Kazooie. ID 411. I keep lagging. There's an entire essay. That's an entire essay. Bro, just searched up glitchy text generator. I knew it. You're supposed to learn, Grantilus. Nah. I read. 
letter you want to type. Banjo's game is over. Turning, turn it up. I need full power. Transformation soon be complete. Bear and Bird finished Grunty's wins. Bro, is a bit like Shrek. <laughs> Yo. Oh, Look at Grunty, she's a <laughs> it's a freaking game. Oh this dude simping for her. Hey, he changed sides. I really don't blame him though for switching sides. <laughs> it's freaking game, dude. <laughs> it's freaking game, man. Yo, I can't wait for the. Banjo Tui make it to the switch port. That would be so cool. Except for the uh, second Canary Mary uh, part of the game. If y'all know who Canary Mary is, uh, look it up. She is like the toughest thing because you have to really hit that button. Like it's a real button smasher. Let me see if I can find it. Give me a... It's a stupid ad. All right, y'all gonna see how insane this is. Let me uh, do a screen share if it works. The third race. So this is gonna be the for the longer fourth race. Now. There's a lot of methods out there to mash for Canary Mary, but I only, only one one works for me. Like, so I'll show you guys kind of what I've seen other is. people do. So a lot of people like to alternate index fingers, just kind of alternating the A button like this. The girl bears fine, but if you can't keep up a rhythm, eventually you like right start here. missing. That's all you really need to know about how to do it. This part and is so. Tough. This is just this is just how you go. So I. Usually look down at my controller when I start just to make sure that I'm actually going over top yeah. of the button. Yeah, yeah. And then you just go back and forth. It is a little bit noisy because you're kind of flicking the button down and up with your nail, and so it kind of clicks real loud. Later, make cart. But let me yeah, it's a real show you a better masher. close up here. This is kind of what it looks like. I'm just sliding my nail. Back and forth like the hardest over top of the game that I ever done. This is the easiest way I've found to do Canary Mary 4 or Canary Mary 3, even. I did this same strat before the start of the race. Back then, I used to like um, tap that button, like double thumb also and I works. Would lose horribly. Uh, same way as double because index, guy found but again, my fingers it. just kind of get stuck over top of each other. She was like, she was With this like, method, you're not mashing super fast, but you're mashing I guess fast enough way to do it. So I'll probably try to as you can see, whenever it works it fine. On, uh, the switch works port. Fine. The only thing I recommend is if you're a nail biter, don't bite your nails before you do this. Otherwise, he's reporting on actual 64. <laughs> so anyway, that's that's, that's my tutorial on how to, how to do the Canary Mary race. Then again, um, 
Maybe he has a Elgato as well. Do you guys want to watch anything else? Since I had this screen share on. Yeah, he's Rick. I don't know how he's the ghost in 3D land. All right, let's let's see. See if I can type it. Yeah, I don't want to. It's going to be one of these episodes, uh, like a short one. I really don't want to get flagged for watching somebody else's video without their permission. Like, you know, a top person. It was tax season in Dallas. There we are. If we can, no, it's, like, it's fine. Yeah, it's actually kind of trippy. Like, it does not belong in a Mario game. And then there's the UFO in a Super Mario 3D land. <laughs> Someone hates minions. I really don't blame them. I kind of don't like the minions either. So that does not belong in Mario game. Like, <laughs> I, like, for real. Uh, what else to watch? No, the video of that. That's one girl. Yeah, I think I've seen her, the minion video, uh, her saying that she hates it. Thought I had a bug crawling on me, dude. Uh, yeah, Nintendo has a lot of creepy things. Majora's Mass Ghost. And, yeah. This was actually one of the ones that did creep me out, too. Yo. What I watch? Pretty much anything. Only into creepy stuff. Yeah, I actually heard this song in my sleep paralysis. Like literally, I when I when I'm about to start having sleep paralysis, I hear it. That's when I like wake myself up before it happens. Sorry, I haven't been at the streams. This is actually my first time watching videos like this, honestly. Let me, uh. Yeah, you're good, man. I really don't. I've uh, been pretty busy, too. And for some reason, I kind of have to do it at night now. I'm. So right now it's like 12, 13 p.m. in my 12, 13 a.m. in my time zone. Yo, Royal, real Royal Melon. We're just hanging out. I was playing a uh, Banjo Kazooie earlier. No, I guess we're just watching random Nintendo videos. Talking about like uh, the ghost in Super Mario 3D Land and all that stuff. We could watch like this. All right, let me uh screen share again. Let me 
see if I could get it going. All right. Can y'all see? Yo, it messed up. Yeah, it messed up. I have, let me. Scariest images hidden in games. Let me see if I can find one. Scary. Can I get in trouble for watching other people's videos in the stream? Scariest images in. I guess if I'm trying to make money without their consent, then I probably would say yes. No, I don't want to show that because uh, I found one that says Super Mario. Let me see if I could do a share screen. Let me see. Nope, that's not the one. 